Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 19 video. Now, this is a little bit different. This is my first ever first look map tour and this is on Sandy Bay 19 by none other than Oxygen David. So, all we're going to do really is have a little bit of a run around the map have a look at what we get in the base game, what he provides us in the new farmer mode, and that's it really, just have a look about. So let's take a first little quick look at the map. So this is your map. When you start off, you start up off here at the Sandy Bay farm, which used to be uh, Western Shore, I believe, or Willow Farm. It might be, it might be in Willow Farm. I'll need to go back and have a look at Mr. CDP's video. But as far as I'm aware, this here used to be on the old version Willow Farm, and where Willow Farm is now used to be Sandy Bay Farm. So, this is basically it, and brace yourself for this, what you start with is all of that in green. You want to, if you start off on Farm Manager or on Start From Scratch, this stuff here in blue will cost you absolutely nothing. Uh, why did I do that? Right. You start with fields wise. You start with field 1, field 2, and field 21. Obviously, you've got quite a lot that you can do with that. Field prices, they're not ridiculous. They're, you get some really cheap ones here 48,000. 58,000, 115,000, and then the biggest one is going to be this one, just over a million for that. 598,000, 491,000. So as you can see, the for what you get, they're not ridiculous. You can also do a little bit of forestry here if you want. Uh, I would recommend anyone that is into doing forestry work your way up get fuel 24 completely plant it with trees because you will make a lot of money out of that again that is only for people who, is, who are interested in doing forestry so let's take a quick look at what we get we get the JCB fast track 4220 we get the John Deere 6135M, Massey Ferguson Active, uh, I keep messing that one up, Activa 7347S, Bandit 750, a free flow 25 foot Massey Ferguson header for that uh, Activa 7347, an Agromash plow, a Stara Cirrus Master 3570 Cedar, a Kuhn Metris 4102 sprayer, a Kuhn GMD 4411 mower, a New Holland Roll Belt 150, and a header trailer, the Quattro 40 header trailer. So, not a lot. Uh, anyone that is on console, your slot count is at 750 out of a possible 1,299 and that drops down I believe to 650 on farm manager and start from scratch but again you start with absolutely nothing no land no machinery nothing like that so here we are at the main farm we're just quickly jump in this. In fact, will we? 
Where's the John Deere? I think the John Deere's up here somewhere. We'll go jump in the John Deere. Because that's probably my favourite tractor. I think it's over here. No, maybe not. Let me just... Here it is, yeah. I'm going to have to turn that off because that's going to annoy me. I normally do this beforehand, but there we go. Right. So, let's just get out first of all. So, this is your main farm area. So, this is obviously all your storage areas, your sheds, stuff like that. You've got a couple of little bunkers down here, a little placeable area, we're not going to go down there just yet, some odd bits and ends lying about here and there, uh, up there you have, I believe it's the sheep, up here, yep that's the sheep. You got the cows over there. Now, something really interesting I want to show you about the cows. Whether it's here or not, I don't know. It might be at the other one. I believe there's two. If I open this up, open animal dialogue. So it's not that. But it is definitely somewhere. You can buy calves. Let me have a look. There's another sheep pasture. I think this is it here. Cow pasture up here. You can get calves. Now, one thing that wasn't shown on any of the ones I was watching for um the their map tours is what fruit types do we get so obviously we get our standard in game ones all the way down to the sugar cane and we also get alfalfa then we get rye and the cuttable hedge i'll go into that a little bit more detail later on the cuttable hedge for anyone who hasn't seen anything on it yet all right so unlike console we don't get the option for carrot harvesting which is a little bit annoying but they can only do what they can do and obviously auction J david wasn't able to put carrots on the console map so it's all pretty much standard stuff when it comes to the cows Obviously, you can see there. That's where you pick, where you open up the animal dialogue. There is your slurry point. I believe this is your stray, stray, your hay, uh, lowering your hay point, uh, lowering your straw, not hay. There's your water. Where's the feed? I think the feed might be in that same area as well. And there's where you get your milk out from. So your feed and your straw are all in there. Your water's around the other side. If you come up the top here, this is your silo. So you'll reverse your trailer into here. You'll fill it up from that pipe and you'll drop it all into that grate down there. Now, I'm not going to bother going through all the different sheds and stuff. Uh, that looks like seeds and fertilizer storage. Uh, not quite sure what this is. If I come up to this, there's nothing about saying activating anything. I'm guessing this is this is where they're intending you to wash 
vehicle's at. Again, just a guess. This looks like another little bunker area. More storage space. Uh, the house. So one thing I'm going to need to find out as well. Obviously you've got your chicken here. Your sheep are in here. And this is your egg and wool spawning points. I believe this. No. It's all very crowded here. Trying to find where the house is is a bit <laughs> confusing. Hmm. I don't know. Ah, it could be these green buildings here, I suppose. Apparently not. Oh, I am blind. Right here. Sleep trigger there. Not tired because it's not 7pm yet. Right. Back to the John Deere. Open up this gate first. And we will come out of here. And we will... It's all, it's all very crowded here. We'll come out of here and we'll go left down to the bottom of the map. From up here you can see you've got a little tunnel up over there. Field 31 which is currently grass. Got a caravan site with a windmill up there. Which is very nice. For anyone who doesn't know, this map, although it's fictional, is based off of a Devon farming area. You can see up here we got one of Oxygen David's buses there, Sandy Bay Tours bus. There are police cars driving about, some of them do have the lights and sirens on. There are speed traps set up, but from what I can understand, they do not work on console. So you're not going to get any fines for speeding if you're on console. Little placeables area down there. Not too bad. Try not to crash into the cones. Speed limit signs all over the place. Here's a couple of speed cameras. Again, they don't work for console. Just come straight down and we'll take a right. Okay, so here we have some dairy points. If I open up that gate. So there are three cell points here, I believe. Or is it just the two? You got a dairy station and a dairy wholesale place. Now which one is which? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. So dairy, if I hit tag. Dairy is that one there, and the dairy whole stores is this one here. We'll just get rid of that. Like that. Nope, maybe not. There we go. Right, moving on. We have the spinnery just there. And we have the sawmill here. So you'd come, put your logs here, and you'd sell your wood chips right there. Not too difficult. Pretty easy to understand. We come back up here. 
can see you get the railway line there. There is a running train, but it is not very frequent. Property for sale there. Another one there. Obviously people are just moving out of that one. Now, I could see this one being a really good Let's Play series. I really could. If you guys want to see that, be sure to comment down below that you want to see that. Right, so in here, we do have a mechanics area where we can get our vehicles and our equipment fixed. That's a train station up there. And down here, there is another cell point, which is the, uh, the pub, and they will take eggs just right in here. Nice and easy. Not too difficult. Right, and continuing on. You see the detail on this map is crazy. Oxen David has done some great work here. So we'll come straight up on this roundabout first of all, across the railway line. And we'll come into the store area. So, right here, I believe. Ah, so no. In here, no, it's around the corner, there's an open door. Not much done inside, but this is where you'd come and purchase all your vehicles and equipment and you park up here I believe and the little trigger is just there for the, the workshop if you need to repair or customize anything right back out trying to keep this video as short as possible really I have no idea what I'm doing doing map uh, map tours and map reviews but we're just gonna go with it nice uh, fast food chain there come in the uh, drive through Nom nom, very nice. It is a very nice map though. A lot of things going on. Watch out for those pesky drivers as well. They are a little bit crazy. One thing I've noticed, I've played a lot of maps on this, and I know I've only been playing the Farming Simulator game for a couple of months, but I have played quite a few maps, and Oxygen David's, although maybe aren't the largest, they are the most populated. Right, in here, we've got a few different places. The Sandy Bay Market Auctioners. So this is where you're going to buy and sell your animals. That's the animal dealer. Uh, over here is... Try to remember what all of these are. So, onto the map. Thank you for interrupting. Right, so here we got Sandy Bay the Sandy Bay Stores Dock One, Dock Two, and Sandy Bay Stores. That's these three here. 
So, come on back out. Wonder how far around this we can get before it cuts us off. It says we can't go any further and then it will have been an entire waste of time trying to come around. Yeah, here we are, it just dips us into the ocean here. I'm not even gonna try and go for that. Right, anyway. I'm gonna get back to that roundabout and when we're back there we will continue the tour. Right, okay guys, so as you can see we are back at the roundabout. So what we're gonna do take a right back up past the store and in case you haven't seen it before this field here is alfalfa this is what alfalfa looks like this is it as ready to harvest. Now, anyway, as I was trying to say there before my cat rudely interrupted, um, I'm not quite sure how you harvest alfalfa. Some people have been mowing it, whether that's how you do it and that's it, I don't know whether you can come through it with a combine. In fact, we can probably check that in the store. Harvesters. Take rye. Right, so none of our harvesters will take it. But if we look at Moore's, Moore's cut grass. Uh, forage. Yeah, so forage harvesters will take Alfalfa. And that's basically it. You're going to have to go through it with a forage harvester. That's how you'll do it. Right. Anyway. Continuing on with the tour. It's a little bit of a steep dip there. We've got a church. Don't want to be going there. We've got the petrol station, f uh, 24 hour fuel. Hilltop stores. Right. And what we'll do, we'll cut up past the church here, up this hill. The scenery is just fantastic on this map. I think I am going to have to do a let's play on it. You see the field sizes are pretty decent as well. here. Right, so, looks like some kind of fuel storage, I'm guessing, because there's a fuel symbol here. I don't see an actual fuel station, petrol station. So, nice decent size sheds. You don't need to download anything extra on top of this map for it to work. So, 
So yeah, you can see really nice big sheds. Really good. It actually looks like this. Here is some kind of cell point. I'm guessing some kind of a barn cell point. For your straw, your hay, your grass, your silage, stuff like that. That's Willow Farms. If we continue up here, we do have a, another cell point. In fact, that's a good point. Now that I'm looking at this, so uh, that's a pig enclosure. That's a cow pasture. Horse paddock. And a cow pasture. So we've got quite a bit to look at here. Uh, in fact, where are we just now? We're here. What's that? Western Shore Stores is down there. So, we're not going to go down there just yet. We might jump to that later. So, we're going to come up here and take a left. Up past Field 20. And as you can see, there is another cell point just here. This is for yeah, this is Green Tech Stores. And Green Tech take well almost everything really. Yeah, almost everything. Which is pretty good. So in order to get in there, we turn right up here. Watch out for that truck. And then turn in here. All you need to do is back up onto here. And a little hatched area. You don't need to go all the way down onto the grates. And that's your cell point. I don't think there's anything further up. No, nope, just fields. So. We're not going to come back down that main road because that's where it was. So we'll come out here. And come down this way. And we'll come to this cow enclosure here. I think that's probably the best way to do it. So as you can probably tell, this isn't really a map for large machinery. Right now how do I get this? You know what, I'm just gonna screw realism and come through the hedge here. Right, so here we have another cow pasture. Milking area there. That's your animal dialogue. And you've got the water over here. Straw storage, I believe. There's some milk. So if that's the milk, then what's this? You know something, I can't find the feed area. That'll take a little bit more of looking into. Oops. Can't see what I'm doing. 
Right. Anyway. Continuing on. Some more fields over here. But yeah, it's not for your larger machinery, but they are really, really big fields. So it's stuff that would take you a while to do. So, what we're going to do now, I'll take a quick look at the map. If Farming Simulator will allow me to. So, we're going to come out here, take a right, then a left, and just come down here. We're going to end up right back by our main farm and take a right, come up here past the garden centre to this interesting cow pasture and then finally we'll take a look at the biogas plant and then that will be it. So, obviously to get to your horses are up there but we're not going to bother with that. If you have the time and the patience, horses are great money, but I don't have either. So, what have we got here? We got a cell point here somewhere. Back here. Port view close doors. That's going to be one of those really difficult ones to reverse for. Uh, I'm thinking this way. That's the way I'm going. Anyway. Continuing on. We got one of our fields over here. Looks like a nice wheat field. Another field on seeding. And then we've got a grass field up there. Not too bad. And as you can see, we end up right back here at our main farm. It's right where we came out at. So we have basically just gone and done one big full circle. But this is the interesting part. We can a little bit up here. In fact, there is still yet another interesting part to show after this. Some people will like it, some people won't, each to their own. But, first of all, that little house under construction, very nice. And we got this is the garden center area where I believe you can also sell manure. So that's your looks like a manure sell point, something like that. And then here's for the rest of your stuff there. Let me just double check that before I end up getting it wrong. Garden center, center manure cell point, and then you got your main garden center, which takes everything you'd expect, really.
Right, on to the cow farm. This is interesting, and this is going to need a lot of messing around with to get right. Come in here. Oops. Please open inwards. Thank you. Right. Come in here, and is it this bit? No, that's milk. Animal dialogue. Here we go. Calf black and white. Calf black and calf brown. We can buy calves. Uh, I'm going to buy two, just to show you what they're like. And here they are. They are just calves, how you'd expect to see them. But then over here, somewhere, you can get normal cows. So you got two cows there, and then two calves here. So if I jump into the animal dialogue, calves will eat milk and they will need straw. That is all. So in order to have calves being productive, you need to have cows making milk. If that makes sense. It should do. I said it simply enough. And then in here you've also got another bunker silo. Right, and then we finish off with the biogas plant, which I believe we should own. Yes. The good thing with Oxygen David as well as Alien Jim is you always own the biogas plants. Always double check before assuming, but every map I've had, yeah, own the biogas plant from the word go on New Farmer. So, in here, you've got your digester tank here. You can put your all your usual stuff in and you will get paid at midnight. And here is where you get your digestate out, the byproduct of the silage. There's a BGA cell point. Now unlike other BGAs I'm not seeing, might be around the back, but I'm not seeing any bunkers on this BGA. Now, not that there isn't enough throughout the map, but it would be nice to put some in. I can understand why he hasn't, I and mean, if you look he's left this big wide open area here, so that you can just if I reverse back a bit you can just come into the placeables in the silos and you can pick what you want and you could stick as an example I don't know how that collides with an object but right you could stick that there, your liquid silos, and then you could stick maybe not these ones, this here. It's obviously colliding with a vehicle, but you, you get my point. You could stick that there, 
and then a liquid silo over there. Right, that brings us to the end of the main tour. One thing I need to go and do is if I come down to switch to trains and turn that on, I'll turn this off for the noise sake. Now you just heard there's a plane that just buzzed over the top of our heads. You saw, and you can see there, a balloon. I've told you about the train. The train you cannot actually jump into. What you can jump into, however, which I purposely didn't point out while we were going down the past the beach, is this. Skyrocket helicopter. It goes around this entire section of map. If I open this up. But I think, yeah, it just goes around in a circle all the way around the map at different altitudes. That is basically it. So. You can stop the engine. Which doesn't really do anything. Start the engine. Deactivate cruise control, come to a stop. Nothing changes other than the fact that we're not moving. Stop engine. Again, the sound stays on. Right, anyway. That is going to be it for this episode. If you have enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions and any map or mod you would like to see me play on, do a let's play, do a map review, first look. Comment all that down below. And until next time guys, I will see you later.